We all have problem areas in our garden and so today I thought I would show you a couple of mine. My once lush corn was beautiful and looking productive and then it started getting mauled by ants and I was like oh this is problematic. And then the bush rats moved in and I don't know if I now have any corn left. Two days ago I they had only nibbled on one and I tried to bait for them. Whoa, hey puppy. Um, and I'm limited where I can bait because of said puppy. And unfortunately he has literally just raided the area where I had thought I had screened it off enough and to the best of my abilities to keep him out where I could bait for the rats. So I'm gonna have to figure something else out. But I was going to harvest the corn yesterday and then I came out and they've nibbled on every single one of them. So I don't know if the corn cobs inside some of them are okay, but they've certainly nibbled the top off all of them. And some of them are most definitely gone. So what am I gonna do about all of this? Mm, well, I don't know if any of my plans are going to work, but step one is going to be to harvest the corn to take away what the rats are enjoying. And also like, is there any point in keeping them there if they're just going to feed somebody else and not us? Plus, it's also forecast to get a little bit cooler and sort of start winter temperatures a little bit early, which is odd that we've gone from boiling hot summer to a week of floods and then the temperature just shifted. So I think it's time to harvest these and just get them out of the ground and move on with my life. I am going to go and buy some beer and pop beer in a little bucket in here at night because I don't trust Rafa not to drink it. And I hope that that is actually going to draw the slugs and the snails to the yeast and that as bad as it sounds, they will drown in that because I have tried putting them in water and collecting them by hand and they just climb out, which I find really creepy that slugs can do that. But anyway, the other thing that I'm going to be doing is obviously as I'm going around and plucking out weeds and dealing with things, I'm going to be removing any bugs that I see. If I continue to have a mass of aphids on the zucchinis, even though I've removed a few leaves and that seems to temporarily have dealt with the issue, I am going to spray the leaves um, because it's just ridiculous. There were so many of them. I have noticed gardening in coastal gardens, both the last place I was at and this place, that I am having way more trouble with aphids. I thought it might just be the last place because it was kind of more um, a bushland swamp that had been converted into a residential area, but it just seems like there are so many aphids around. And as soon as you plant something, they're just like, thank you, and they come and eat it. So I don't want to have gone through all of this work for nothing. And if I'm not careful, I'm gonna end up with nothing because my bok choy is decimated, my capsicum's looking rough, my corn has been violated, and my cauliflower is looking pretty rough. If you have any suggestions for other more natural ways I could manage this, well, I would love to know. And I've got a puppy charging at me right now. So I'm gonna head off and play with him and take him for a little walk. And I will deal with these issues this afternoon if it's not raining again. I went to pull the corn out and just kind of give up on it given the bush rat problem but this one is perfectly fine it's just it's been harvested prematurely so I decided to just roll the dice and leave the other ones and see if they get mauled if they get mauled they get mauled but I mean if they don't if I somehow manage to bait while we're away this week for two days and sayonara bush rat then maybe I will get a harvest of corn but this is way too early so I'm just gonna leave what's there and let the dice fall where they may In this front corner of the garden I planted four capsicum plants 
and these were plants I was given just before Christmas and I couldn't really do anything with them because I was about to move and so by the time I put them in the garden they were more than desperate to get in and unfortunately summer was already kind of like half done but I thought if I put them with some $2 salvias that I bought then the salvias will attract the bees and the bees will help the pollination process and soon I will have so many vegetables I won't know what to do with all these capsicums. Well unfortunately just before they were about to start producing a actual, I want to call it a fruit, but as soon as they were about to start producing there we got hit by floods and the one in this corner decided it no longer had any will to go on and it died and so I've planted a new zucchini seed there which has started to pop um, and the reason I planted a zucchini there was because I had planted some further back that were doing so beautifully and then the dog crushed one sort of half to three quarters to death and then the massive wind that we had afterwards that ripped open a hole in the fence and thrashed the corn took out the rest of that zucchini plant and half of the other one and I thought oh my god like I'm not going to have any zucchini in a minute so I whacked a few zucchini seeds in the ground and this one is starting to grow a little bit bigger. The other capsicum plants one has what looks to me like rust it just looks really unhappy with life. I don't know if this is an aftermath of the flood I thought it might be so I thought it might settle if I just kind of left it to its own devices for a little while and unfortunately that doesn't appear to be the case. The other one has been swamped by the kale, the ornamental kale that has gone boom with the rain and really grown to an enormous degree. The other thing that has thwarted the capsicum is the sudden drop in temperature that came after that week long rain, of heavy heavy rain. Uh, that is not really normal on this coastal area, it's normally more of a gradual decline into autumn but this was like summer, boiling temperatures and then we got drowned and then the next week it was cooler. So I think they're suffering a little bit from that but I don't really know. So if you have any ideas what's wrong with my capsicum please let me know in the comments if it is salvageable or if it is time for this little plant to go in the garbage. The other trouble spot I'm having is here right in the middle of the garden with my cauliflower. I have never had any luck when I have tried cauliflower before. My last home in Sydney had too much variation in sunlight for them to be happy. In summer it got torched, in winter it had nothing. And when they did try and become productive, a bush rat came and chomped it. So I'm, I'm fairly concerned that that's going to happen again here given what's happened to the corn. But they have been mauled by slugs and I come out here and look for the slugs and I can never see them. And because we've had so much rain, I'm sure the slugs are just everywhere. Every time I see little slug eggs, I scoop them out and chuck them out. But it seems there are either a ton of them or they are resilient little bugs. But my cauliflower, once again, looks rubbish and wildly unhealthy and I don't really know what else to do about it. Um, I'm going to try and do some more uh, organic baiting shall we say for the slugs and snails I'm going to try some beer uh, tonight but the difficulty is I don't drink beer so I don't have it on stock so I gotta go and get some and I have to do it at a time when my mischievous little puppy is inside so I don't trust him not to drink beer yesterday he raided the kitchen table and stole the sugar and now he's right here bumping cameras hello sweetheart you are lovely but you have covered me in so much dirt so much dirt how much dirt do you want to cover me in hey how much when are you gonna finish teething because I'm a bit over it I am a bit over it Don't... Oh, no. This chili plant has well and truly passed its use by date 
and I'll replant something in summer but I'm just letting it go for now but you can see even chilies don't deter bush rats and possums or perhaps was it you no don't think so these little pots of lavender I got for sale they were so cheap and they were so lush but they did not appreciate the flood so I'm just seeing if they're salvageable but I was going to plant them at my rockery in Sydney because the garden up there is shall we say neglected but that's I guess what happens when you get the tenant in this poor little pineapple has been mauled by the dog more times than I could even tell you got some columbines coming up and a cutting of a uh, hookah that doesn't particularly like all the sunlight that it has here but they've been swamped by the rain so I'll have to drain them this is just last night's rain and it has rained so much I didn't even realize it was raining last night originally I was super excited to see these beautiful white butterflies zooming around and I was like oh, I've done so well I've brought all the pollinators and then I worked out that they might actually be cabbage moths and I'm a bit hesitant to kill them because I love butterflies but also like I don't want cabbage moths what are you doing? hey? Hey bud, how are you going? There's only concrete that way, can I help you? Ah, oh, wiggly worm. Wiggly worm, come on, I'll put you somewhere nice. Put you somewhere nice, there you go. Enjoy. So I've just dug in, ish, a plastic bowl there and down the end near the cauliflowers which I'll fill with beer tonight. Hopefully this will deal with some of the slugs and snails that have been plaguing me although I just saw a little bunny rabbit pop under the fence next door so we might have alternate issues as well. Even though the forecast looks like it's gonna rain I'll give this a go. I just might only do one. We'll see how we go. But while I'm out here, I'll get rid of this dead marigold. And this one, the wrapper broke. I will chuck it in the compost bin. No luck so far. I think there's only well, there's some, which is good because it's quite dehydrated. Oh, they're caterpillars. One caterpillar and one tiny slug. Fantastic. We'll be doing this again when it stops raining. So much water. You can see the backyard is starting to flood. And this little side area is where a lot of the pots are and they'll be inches deep in water right now and that's why so many of them look so rough right now okay so i'm gonna go and deal with him and hopefully i will see you in the next video but somebody wants to go for a walk right now Ruffy.